victory. The tigers fled and didn't look back, and the rodent army let out a cheer. We won! We're the strongest! Long live the cave mice! I hurried to the stone gazette to quickly chisel the news, and when I got to the office, I ran into Thea, who was excited. Well done, Geronimo, she congratulated me. You got the stone of fire back from the tigers. Yes, I replied happily. Hercule and I returned it to the mauseum, where it is on display. That night, the whole village celebrated with a great banquet of cheese soup, Grisilla's fried cheese nuggets, and roasted meat with cheese sauce. What a great party. Yum, what a delicious prehistoric feast. At the end of the meal, the village musicians began to play their wooden and stone instruments, and everyone jumped up and danced in lines around the table. It was a wild Stone Age party. Unfortunately, Chatina Heftymouse, the wife of the village leader, sat down next to me for the rest of the banquet. She talked non-stop because she's Chatina. Chat, chat, chat. How cute is that? Oh, nice. Another picture. A steak for me. Fresh cheesy food. Big fire. And then this is my soup, you sneaky saurus. Sweetie. So remember, you can pause and look at this if you want to. Prehistoric manners. At the table, you must burp at the end of a meal, blow your nose on your napkin, wipe your dirty paws on your neighbor's shirt, noisily slurp up your soup, and remember to spit out the bones. Everything my mother told me not to do. Interesting. This victory is all thanks to my dear Ernest, she said proudly. And then again, it's thanks to me, too. I'm the one who gave him such good advice. A few seats down, Bluster Conjuret, the shaman, stared into his bowl of cheese soup. I see, I see. We have won the battle, but not the war, he muttered gloomily. Tiger Khan and his saber-toothed squad will soon return to attack us. Ernest and I agreed, said Chatina, holding up a piece of meat as if it were a club. These tigers will surely try to steal one of our wonderful inventions again. Speaking of inventions, I interrupted. Fern Fossilfer, the Mauseum director, I have an important announcement to make. Thanks to two brave citizens of our village, the Stone of Fire has been returned to the Mauseum. Ooh, everyone exclaimed. I'd like to thank the two heroes who faced countless dangers to return it to us, she continued, Hercula and Geronimo. And everyone at the banquet burst into cheers and applauded. Long live Geronimo! Long live Hercule! And at the end, it all turned out for the best. At least this time, but here in the Stone Age, life can be as hard as a block of petrified cheddar. I'll be on the lookout for my next adventure, or I'm not Geronimo Stiltenute, Cave Mouse.